We all know the Scottish Government have announced that a re referendum on Scottish independence will take place on 19th of October 2023. ALBA are ready for this campaign. Our leader Alex Salmond is the only person to have ever given the people of Scotland a choice on how they are governed and we very nearly won our independence at the first attempt. Alex as First Minister showed the people of Scotland that we could govern ourselves better than Westminster can. It was Alex who introduced free education to ensure all of Scotland had the opportunity of extending their education to help them improve their life chances. It was Alex who introduced free prescriptions because Scotland is a caring nation that does not believe in the Westminster capitalist ethos of survival of the fittest. We believe the sick and vulnerable should have access to all medicines free of charge and Alex delivered that. Alex also removed the toll fees from bridges. This helped thousands of workers who had that added expenditure on their daily commute to and from work. It also helped make Scotland more attractive to tourists, bringing millions into our economy. Under Alex's stewardship, child poverty was at its lowest for decades and falling. Now due to the savage draconian policies from Westminster, child poverty is rising at frightening speeds with families unable to eat and heat. Scotland is a rich nation, yet our citizens are living in food and fuel poverty. That is the value of this union. It is time for all voters in Scotland to unite against this unfair corrupt cesspit of a union. As I said, ALBA are ready to join the wider Yes movement. The question is, are the SNP? For us to win our independence, we must all join the Yes movement without conditions. No par political party should be asking an established organisation to join their campaign and demand they sign a contract before doing so. For those who are watching from official international organisations, you must also use your influence on the Westminster Parliament. Because if they continue to refuse to give Scotland their democratic say, then it sends only one message to the world, that independence cannot be won by peaceful democratic means. Is that really a message the U European Union, NATO and the United Nations wish to send to the citizens of the world? Now is the time. Join the Yes movement. Together we can win.